You know, obviously, we mentioned Texas. Texas went through a terrible stretch there where uh, freezing temperatures, uh, power failures, uh, some of that was blamed uh, erroneously, it should be noted, on uh, sort of green initiatives. I, I know you're supportive of those, but you also believe in, in investing in the climate and uh, uh, green premiums. I, I hope I'm saying that right. Could you explain that for everyone? Well, right now, uh, a huge range of activities from making cement to driving your car to flying on a plane cause these emissions. And it's 51 billion tons. We're going to try and get that down to zero uh, in the next 30 years. That's going to be hard because right now, if you try to do things the green way, uh, it costs a lot more money uh, to make steel or cement without emissions. And so we need a lot of innovation. And so my book says, hey, I think we can do this. Uh, you know, I've seen innovation uh, solve big problems. And yet uh, we're going to have to really make it a priority for the each year of the next 30 years with a lot of R&D, a lot of good policies, uh, and unless the inner generation is really pushing for it, we probably will miss this and, and the world will be a lot less livable. You visited uh, for the book a, a coal plant, a cement plant, a paper mill, and I was surprised to hear that you were someone who self-describes yourself as horrible at chemistry. Has this just always been the case? Yeah, I'm not that dexterous in the lab. I would, you know, spill things or not get the the numbers right. You know, when it comes to the theoretical, I'm quite good. Uh, but I always had to pick a lab partner who was uh, better at, at hands-on uh, skills. Uh, you know, that's why I don't do not do much cooking. <laughs> probably, probably for the best. You know, uh, you talked about with the vaccine that it was a nice uh, marriage of, uh, of the private and the public. And uh, despite any invitation, uh, in innovation, excuse me, that comes from the private sector, uh, the climate will not be addressed unless people in government believe it should be addressed. Uh, and therefore, on that hand, you sort of invite people to run for office. You think that's really important for those who believe climate is an issue to find their way into elected office and make it a priority. Is that one of the ways out of this 30-year plan? Uh, no, I'm not going to run, but uh, we need both parties to engage in this. They can have different tactics, different ways of uh, getting the private sector involved, but it's just like, you know, we want to avoid war, and so, you know, we debate the def defense budget, but not that goal. And I do see increased interest uh, that, you know, if you want to have a moral cause beyond your own success, uh, believing we should you know, make the planet livable and not hurt, hurt the poorest, I think that is catching on. And that's the only reason I think we'll, we'll make the investments uh, that, that could get us uh, to zero by 2050. Is one of the things that gives you optimism the fact that the younger generation seems to be taking this more seriously than maybe anyone who's come before? Yes, and that's got to keep increasing. Uh, you know, it's got to become something where any politician who's not serious about climate, uh, they're saying that, no, that's not what the U.S. is going to stand for, that we're going to lead the way, uh, not only in solving the problems, but building these new industries uh, for, for green products. And in the end, I do want to leave on a positive note. Would you say, on the whole, even though you understand maybe better than anyone what we're up against. Are you, on the whole, optimistic? Yes. The life has improved a lot. The digital revolution's amazing. Uh, and we have to imply that American ingenuity, you know, the America's still the place where most breakthroughs happen. Uh, and so we owe it to the world to figure this one out. And I think we will. Uh, well, thank you so much. Uh, congrats on the book. I hope it sells. Um, Love you to make a little bit of money on this, Bill. <laughs> Definitely need it. <laughs> How to avoid a climate disaster, the solutions we have and the breakthroughs we need is available now.